everybody welcome to my channel thanks so much for joining me today today I have a flip through of a Maggie Holmes themed journal ring bound and this is done in the a5 style um, Elizabeth craft designs planner essentials as well as um, um, Helen Colebrook um, everyday what's it called um, everyday journaling I think um, and it's a combination of those. They're both A5. Um, the Elizabeth Craft design is more of a slimmer one to fit into um, her journal that she has out and available. And this one is the everyday journaling size here with the Elizabeth Craft on the inside. So um, yeah, let me go ahead and show you. Okay, so the first page is, I love these Maggie Home Peacocks. <laughs> my, uh, love a good peacock and the colors of the jade and the pink are very very nice so I went ahead and I took some parchment paper and backed it behind um, a frame I made of actually some Elizabeth craft designs uh, scalloped um, oval and uh, so I took two ovals and put them together to make a frame so it's open in the middle and then I backed it with the parchment this is a Stampin' Up! butterfly and these are flowers from I think from Stamper's Journey it's like a plate of flowers and I just cut a bunch out of some silver foil and I used some Nubo drops there in the centers of those I love how that cover turned out I love the uh, parchment element it acts kind of like a vellum um, but at the same time has a little bit more um, crinkle I guess I don't know <laughs> how to say that um, so it has the th th these little rings these are like one inch or three quarter of an inch actually uh, rings and they might be half mm, might be might be half um, still plenty of room for people to add um, things in there okay so um, here's the first page I have a pocket here this is an old spell buyer's die some Maggie Holmes of flower and some washi this is Elizabeth craft designs um, no this is everyday journaling here the scallop uh, and this I made a shorter paper because I liked the difference different lengths or different widths I should say um, there's that page and it has the tab built in there there's this page and this has this is the Tim Holtz die there journaling die and then I stuck some tags in there that I had and one of the butterflies from the sticker book this page is the Elizabeth craft design you can see that um, scallop there with the holes very very pretty and a pocket is from the uh, Helen Colebrook and then this was just a tag that I had extra that I had made in a video I thought I'm gonna pop it in there because it had the blue and pink so I thought that would go nicely the back side of that page. These are double-sided Maggie Holmes because um, it's a little bit thicker. It's not the single sheets you buy at the store, but I printed that the digital files double-sided. Um, I have a washi flower with a journaling card that I made from some scraps. So you can flip that up and put some things underneath. This is a page I cut and then a little bit longer and I folded it over so it's a little pocket that you can use and this is a little flower die cut from the everyday journals really everyday journaling I don't know why that's so hard to say um, fun little pretend washi um, if you can see that very very cute kind of has that washi look and then I used a sticker from the Maggie home sticker book um, another die cut from Helen's uh, line there and then a flower from Maggie Holmes this is from the everyday journaling and it has that sort of ripped looking effect there so I used this Maggie Holmes and I double sided it it has like a book plate and I put a bow there and some Nouveau drops to kind of look like the rivets and then I just tossed in some little homemade tags and things of some fun little papers that people could use to further decorate and then Again, this is flipped in and made into a pocket. They're <clears throat> super sturdy. And then I love these colors. Some of my favorite colors. Um, the pink with that blue, peacock blue, which of course goes with our peacocks. Um, and anyway, there's a pocket there you can use. This is Elizabeth Craft Design tag that die cuts out and goes into here, lines up nicely. 
And then this is a die cut, actually. <laughs> it looks ripped, but it's a um, die cut of the uh, Helen Kohlberg. And then I put some Maggie Holmes washi there. And then here's a page with some washi. And that is uh, that. So lots of what's nice about these journals is I try to make things that aren't overfilled by me. Um, I like to leave a little leeway for people to personalize them and yet give them a few things to kind of get them going, like tags and things and some little ideas. I don't like to overdo the pages because I feel like people won't then have anywhere to put their own personal things. So um, I do spend a lot of time on these though. I love to coordinate it. I like it to have, sort of have a theme even though it's a mixy and matchy thing. They all kind of have a theme to them. This one is the peacocky element and you know the aviary in general because the butterfly is a winged um, insect and so um, yeah, anyway, I uh, hope you like that. It gives you some inspiration to create or go check out my shop, CLM Emporium. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.